Hi guys, so today I want to speak about breakups and I know that some people think that just because people break up with you it makes you a bad person but the reality of life is that Kilam who are left. You know, for my foreigners, everyone has the potential to be left, you know. And today, last time the video was to the people of Kijiji, the village people, my village people. But today we are including everyone. Yeah? So because we need to include everyone because this is a community of love. I'll see you. So today um this is why I feel like I need to speak about this topic. A lot of people are catching feelings like negative feelings every time there is a breakup. People are harming each other because of this issue. And even the surprising thing is even adults because sometimes you think that people do foolish things and it's usually a younger person but in this case it's all people all ages all races and the reality of life is that everyone has the potential to be left and sometimes we view like being left as a negative thing but sometimes god has a way of making sure that you don't settle and that you go for what is yours through a breakup. I know a lot of people don't view it like that, but that's the reality of life. Also, another thing that I want to point out is that sometimes a breakup is the best thing for you, you know, even if you did not expect it, because why would you be content with being uh, with someone who does not want to be with you like It does not make sense, right? So for this video, I just want people to understand that it's okay It's okay to go through breakups. It's actually okay for you to leave someone and it's okay for you to be left You understand especially in cases where it is not serving both parties and in this case I'm talking about intimacy and in this video I'm including everyone all preference whatever preference of gender you prefer or whatever I know I'm a Christian but my co my platform includes everyone no one is excluded because pain is uniform to everyone pain equalizes all of us so we cannot pretend that it happens to a certain group of people and it doesn't happen to other people so I have notes by the way so I'm going to try to follow them <laughs> Number one, ish happens to both the kind and the unkind. This goes back to what I was saying. Breakups don't necessarily mean you're a bad person. And I don't want to also overlook the fact that sometimes when you're left, it's because you have an issue. Sometimes when you're left or you've left a situation, it's because it's simply not serving either one of you. You're not happy with it or it's dimming your light you understand number two um love is not obsession if you cannot live without a human being then you have no business being in a relationship if you cannot stand seeing your now partner with a better person when things fall apart between you you also have no business being with anyone except yourself and god and getting to really understand what that means so this means that for the people who are who go through breakups and you become a stalker like literally a stalker you go check on these people like like it's you've broken up but you still go check on these people like you own them like they are your property no human being is anyone's property let's get that right first of all you do not own anyone you do not even own yourself God owns everyone. So for you to feel like you have a right to dictate who someone is with after you or who someone chooses despite you is completely wrong. That's just a sense of you're not mature enough. Today we are going to catch feelings, all of us, because all of us were included. To feel like you own someone, like you need to dictate where they go, who they choose, what time they come into, is just it's wrong you know like let's be mature let's understand everyone has the right to choose who they want to be with and why 
force someone to be with you don't you want someone who has genuine feelings for you someone who has a genuine commitment to be with you someone who wakes up every day choosing to be with you to work for um to ensure that the relationship is working between the two of you if you do not have that like come on let people go you understand number three is um there is life after love it may not look like what you pictured but what god planned for you is greater than what you had drawn up for yourself and to get to that point you must let go of what and who doesn't serve you so that what does serve you can have a place and a space to settle into and in this talk, i want to talk about young people because I feel like younger people are the ones who have this sense of naivety and innocence that they believe that I'm going to stay in a bad situation until something works out or you interpret or misinterpret obsession as love. And this is something I speak out loud. Obsession is not love. And this is what I mean by obsession because I feel like we need to clarify. If you're with someone who cannot go a day like goes out of their mind if they do not know where you are in a day and I don't mean in the way of concern in the way they just need to know what you are doing who you are with like they need to know for every second you need to check in like that's wrong that's an obsession that's not love if you're with someone who is so obsessed with your whereabouts to the extent that you need to get into the kitchen and knock a sufuria just so that they can know you're in the house you know and not somewhere enjoying your life that's totally wrong and these things people take for granted and i'm going to speak about this in things to look out for when before or when you're dating is please don't allow yourself to be hooked up with people who are obsessed with the idea of relationship with the idea of being with you because there's a difference between commitment and obsession a love and obsession obsession wants to take over a person the will of a person it wants to take over the freedom someone has to you know like basically you become a puppet to them they dictate how you think what you eat how you sleep you know like all that nonsense and it's important to understand that you do not need or you do not want to be with someone who is obsessed with you in because these are the sort of people who end up destroying people's lives ending people's lives because they cannot take no for an answer because they cannot handle the idea that someone can live and be without them and most of these people they live their lives in freedom they do whatever they want but they expect the other person to be confined to live in a box you get what i mean and that is dangerous that is actually putting your own life in danger because these people are capable of the nastiest things in the name of love that's nonsense that's obsession do not confuse love and obsession number four seek god for your relationships especially intimate ones because it does affect a whole lot than what is surface for example additional baggage like insecurities anxieties low self-esteem wasted time wasted investments generational brokenness and <laughs> i'm going to speak about this because I've realized that we keep saying that women are after money but we also need to teach men that why first of all why are you investing in someone with the intention of getting emotional reciprocation of love through money the word of God says you cannot buy love you know if you cannot hear it from God I don't know who you can hear it from because you cannot buy love so when you're doing something for someone when you're taking this people to school whatever it is you're doing you better look at it as charity you know give without expecting back if you're going to bless someone bless someone not with the expectation that you're buying back their love and also for females please stop using people you know actually this both genders are taking advantage of other people 
in the name of love to get investments to get uh, educated and stuff like that like everyone needs to take accountability that this thing is not one-sided it is not a woman issue it is not just a man issue a man needs to understand if you're investing in a woman please do not invest in a woman with the expectation that you're buying their love and women please do not be with a man with the intention that um, you're manipulating the emotions so that they can invest in you like that's sick that get your life together you know like I'm sure there's another way to find like ways to get yourself financially helped without manipulating people's emotions that's just wrong we live in a society where people have no moral standards and i blame it on the fact that people have rejected god yeah i'm going to speak it out loud the reason people have rejected god it has translated in all things people have no respect for god they have no respect for people's emotions people's hard work like my god next breakups can either be the best or worst thing depending on your attitude it can either break you or build you so in this topic um here's the thing i understand that breakups are hard and it does not matter what sort of breakups because there are people who go through um family breakups there are people who go through intimate breakups and all that thing and loss is loss you know we cannot put one type of loss on a pedestal and the other on you know low standards every loss matters and every loss feels heavy on the person who is experiencing it and here's the thing the secret to getting back up after a breakup is to ensure that you're building yourself up whether that be you need to work out whether that be you need to start checking into your career investing in your career whether that be molding or repairing or restoring relationships that broke up because you were in a negative or toxic relationship in fact i'm going to go further ahead and say for the people who are in healthy relationships but it broke off the best way for you to move on is to actually build yourself not to be obsessed with the idea of being with someone or in a situation where you're not welcomed with love like love is off the table you understand what i mean and i feel it is unfair for people to assume that just because you went through a breakup that it is all about you the other person might experience the same if not more emotions of pain than you and just because they left does not mean that they are not going through the same emotions i know people have a funny way of showing it there are people who move on fast because there are people who have been in relationships where it ended while they were in the relationship and there are people who got out when it actually broke off so understand that a breakup is both sides both parties experience um similar if not more feelings you get and this perception people have that someone moved on too fast or someone has not yet moved on like honey move on at your pace if for you you feel like you're healed so fast in a week or in a day that you need to move on with someone good for you if you feel like you need to take a hundred years to heal good for you no one should tell you how much time to take to heal and no one should make you feel the pressure to move on like move on at your pace because let me tell you if you're moving on to show people that you've moved on you've really not moved on you understand what i'm saying the best type of moving on is to actually move on when you have moved on you get like be in a relationship when you're healed when you're whole when you understand who you are when you see yourself through god's eyes when you know your value and your worth where it is not dictated or dependent on another person or being in a relationship get it i'm going to go first because i have a lot a lot so um 
the next one we are on number seven letting go of bad relationships is easier said than done so be watchful of who you associate with especially if there's a possibility that intimacy could brew this is for all the people who are in the friend zone or similar situations like friend zones in this situation it's like never allow yourself to be in a position where you know this thing could grow into something more and be ignorant of how you're leading on people you understand what i'm saying especially if you're friends with someone and you see that their character is not right like can you please take precautions stop getting so close to people that you know not good for you even as friends and you take it up a notch and you get into a relationship with them like come on that's a breakup like you're just it's like a deadline like the breakup is beckoning deadline deadline you no know, like be real if you cannot see yourself with someone like this is what i always say befriend people let's that say if the world was coming to an end and you had to date these people that you would love that you would appreciate the type of people they are that you would appreciate their character so what does that mean check your company check who you're associating with if you do not like someone's character and they are in your friendship circle what are you doing cut off people who you do not need in your life cut off people who have some weird weird fishy characters if you're friends with people who are treating other people wrongly and you can avoid those people please do right now because what goes around comes around and we all have to be responsible about our community and it's not just about giving money because people think that giving back to the community is just about money it's about checking the people in your circles you know check your friends if for example you have friends who are treating their partners in a certain way that it's like <laughs> and you feel like your relationship is at a place where you can speak about it you can tell them hey like that's not right check your people you know like have people in your circle who have a character that is honorable everyone like let me tell you do not expect people to check for you if you're not checking for other people this is a circle where it's like you know god has equalized us in that way check on people and god will make sure that people check on you you understand number eight don't be easy when it comes to pursuit the pursuit process check how a person reacts to you when you say no how they react to your boundaries how they handle bad situations their temperaments their demeanor when they don't get their way their faith is it what they believe in family founded or is it a status badge to seem nice all this before you even get to dating and if you are skipping the friendship and dating process bruh you're playing with fire have patience and god will serve you with truth so this is all about someone is pursuing or you're the one being pursued here's the thing there is this stage where people have to uh not have to have to is such a strong word there's this stage where people act like they are the nicest people when they like you or you like them you it's like natural you want to put their, your best foot forward and here's what's wrong with it this is what i always tell uh the people in my life when you're dating make sure you're starting off with your bad traits because the moment you skip off the bad traits it means you're all playing a game of who looks better than who like am i impressing you enough are you impressed enough with me which is nonsense and i would use another word with b and ending with a t in the end but we'll keep it fresh we'll keep it clean we'll keep it classy so when you're being pursued or you're pursuing always remember that it's always the best this is a situation where the best foot has been placed forward so in this situation this is what i always say no matter how much you like palm trees in my vision like share subscribe